Welcome to Valuation of Bonds Part 1. This is the first in the series of five videos on valuation of bonds. This is problem number 718 from the Fundamentals of Corporate Finance. We are going to compare bond pricing over time on two bonds. Bond X is a premium bond meaning it's selling at a price above the par value whereas bond y is a discount bond meaning it's selling at a price below the par value the par value for both bonds is one thousand dollars bond x has a coupon rate of eight point five percent paid semi-annually whereas bond y has a coupon rate of seven percent also paid semi-annually. Bond X has yield to maturity of 7%. That means based on prevailing interest rates, investors expect an issuer with similar credit rating to pay 7%. Bond Y has a yield to maturity of 8.5%. Both bonds mature in 13 years or 26 semi-annual periods. We are going to calculate the current price both bonds, the price a year later, the price four years later, eight years later, 12 years later, and 13 years later or at maturity, assuming the yield to maturity remains unchanged throughout the life of the bonds. And this is an important assumption. Here's the timeline for bond X. The par value is $1,000. The coupon payment is 8.5% of the par value or $42.50 semi-annual. To find the current price, we are going to discount the cash flows by 7%, which is the yield to maturity of this bond. Bond X matures in 13 years or 26 semi-annual periods. Now we are going to calculate the price of bond X using a financial calculator. We'll enter the values shown in the table here. Our n is going to be 26 because there are 13 years left to maturity, which means 26 semi-annual periods. So 26 equals n. Our yield to maturity is 7%, so we press 7 and then i slash y. Our coupon payments are $42.50. Our future value is $1,000. This is the par value. Then we have to make sure we set a calculator to two payments per year because there are two coupon payments per year. Now we press compute, present value, and this is the present value for bond X with the given data. A year later, 12 years or 24 compounding periods are left to maturity. So to find the price of a bond a year later, we simply replace N with 24 and recalculate the present value to be 1000 $120.44. Four years later, nine years or 18 semi-annual periods are left to maturity. Now we replace N with 18 and recalculate present value to be 1098.92 following the same steps on the calculator. Eight years later, five years or 10 semi-annual periods are left to maturity. With N equals 10, the present value is 1062.37. 12 years later, a year or two semi-annual periods are left to maturity. With n equals 2, we find the present value to be $1014.25. At maturity, the present value is $1000 or the par value. This will always be the case. At maturity, the price of the bond will be its 
par value. Here we have a timeline for bond Y. The par value is $1,000. The semi annual coupon payment is $35. The yield to maturity or the discount rate is 8.5%. And the bond matures in 13 years or 26 semi annual periods. We follow the same steps on the calculator with parameters shown in the table here and calculate the corresponding prices at different maturities for bond Y. We can then have a comparison chart for both bond X and bond Y prices at the given maturities. Once we have this chart, we can plot the data to visualize the results. We can see that as coupon payments are being made over time, the premium on the premium bond shown on the top gets lower and lower and the price falls until it reaches par value at maturity. You can also see that as coupon payments are being made over time, the discount on the discount bond also gets lower and lower or smaller and smaller and the price rises until it reaches the par value at maturity. As I mentioned earlier, the yield to maturity remains constant throughout the life of the bonds. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Your comments and suggestions are welcome.